welcome everyone to the lectures of company law now today's topic is further issue of shares so we gonna cover the topics what is a further issue of shares and what are the regulations regarding that that company need to follow while issuing further new shares in the market so let's get started in our companies act 2013 section 62 of the act provides the guidelines for further issue of shares so let's understand that we need to follow all the provisions of section 62 for further issue of shares now before starting the proper definition let me explain you in brief what is further issue of shares we all know the IPO, initial public offer, that is when company come into existence and issue their shares for the first time in the market, that is our IPO, first time public offering. After the initial public offer, whenever company issue new shares in the market is known as a further public offer because now company have already existing shareholders in the market now the first question of the day is can the company issue further share after it's already issued one time that is the first time so the question is can the company issue further shares in the market and answer is yes company can issue further shares if we haven't capitalized our authorized capital fully then yes we have an option to further issue of shares in the market and for the regulation company need to follow section 62 of the companies act for further issue of shares now let's see what section 62 says about further issue of shares where at any time, a company having a share capital proposed to increase its subscribed capital authorized but we need to increase our subscribed capital by the issue of further shares. Then this shares first offered to that is our holding equity shares employee any person. Section 62 of the Act explain or provides the regulation that whenever company issue further shares company need to offer the shares first holder of the equity shares second employee of the company and third any person and then company can go to the market not before offering to them it means company cannot go directly into the market and offer their shares to the public for the second time. There are regulations that company for the second time issue need to offer first to these three people and then they can go to the market for a public, large public. But first they need to offer them. Let's understand the three category of people to whom company need to offer their further shares before going for a public. Now further section 62 that is our 62 sub clause 1 sub clause A. It says that the holder of equity shares. This is our second time. So we already have existing equity shareholders who are holding our shares for the present time. So we need to offer shares first to them. If they are agree, then they will purchase. If they are disagree, then we can go to the public. So company need to send the letter of offer in proportion to their paid up capital to existing equity shareholders first before going in the market. Of course, there is a time limit in which they have to give us 
and answer whether they are subscribing to our capital or not. The second category of people include the employee of the company. Whenever company issue further says, company have to offer first to their employee rather than to the new public. So company have to offer under a scheme of employee stock options and company need to provide a special resolution for the same. The third category of the person says that any person whether it's in the A category or B category or not. But company need to provide special resolution. It may be for cash or other than cash consideration. But the price must be by valuation report. The shares price is must be decided by the report only. In this third category, we are inviting some new people. But we are not inviting on the large basis. We are offering our shares to selected person and we have passed a special resolution for the same. After this three category, if we still have some unsubscribed shares, then we can go to a large public offering. What happened in the real life? Sometimes company purchase some assets from persons. So by payment, they don't pay cash. The company give payment in the form of their shares so that person can come into this category so as per the regulation of the act company need to offer further shares to this people first and then they can go to the public so this is the section 62 says about further issue of shares this is just a short explanation